you're looking for something delicious and healthy, this has just got to be the recipe. So this eggplant salad is beyond amazing. I learned to make this from my grandmother. I don't know where she got this recipe from, but it's something we've made and always enjoyed with flatbreads. So although ideally you would um, grill the eggplants, I don't have that time and I don't want to go through the smoking process so I'm just going to go and cook these down, so pretty much slightly boil them and fry them off. Originally we'd eat this as um, beng in kaparta, which is a mashed eggplant um, curry kind of thing um, but this is how we've always made it very different to how it's made traditionally and it's always worked for us it just it tastes so clean fresh and the flavors are there without much being in it so I've had to add water to this because it wasn't really cooking down instead it was burning you want to make sure you peel your eggplants that's so key um, and when you do actually end up cooking the eggplants just remove all the excess water because remember we've added some in this if you were to grill these you won't really have much water anyway so you can go ahead and grill them and scoop the insides out or you can just do it this way which is easier ideally the grilled version is a lot better but this doesn't taste any less different um, it's just an easier way of doing it For this, all you really need is some salad tomatoes. You want to make sure the tomatoes are quite hard so when you do add them in, they don't kind of go mushy. And you need loads of spring onions and loads of coriander and some fresh green chilies. So I'm going to go in and chop all these into small chunks and pieces. This is ready so I'm going to strain all the water out and just mash the eggplant down and take it out into a plate so I can go in and do the next part. If you do find these kind of skin parts just take them out. It's not really important but I, I did want to take it out because it just tastes very foreign to the actual inside of the eggplant. So 
So I wiped the pot down and just added some olive oil and I'm going to go in with the aspartita also known as hing. Now the reason why you add this is because I think what it does it, it just helps the stomach digest eggplants better because I think they can make you feel a little um, unsteady I guess your stomach at least but it also adds this slight flavor to it which is of acetabetida um, and it does contribute to the dish overall positively so it's actually one of the key ingredients to add in this so I've added the mashed uh, eggplant in as you can see it's kind of cooking away it's ready I'm gonna just mix it for a few minutes and then I'm gonna go in and add the tomatoes the green onions the coriander and just mix all together once you add that you don't really want to cook it for too long because you want to make sure you're able to still have that crunch in the dish so there we have it also don't forget to season it with salt of course So this is what's been known to me as Bengan Kaparta, which I think a lot of people eat it in India, but it's cooked very differently. This is how my family's always made it, and this is how we've enjoyed it. So when I do have the one that, you know, is very common in India, I find it very foreign because it's like we're used to eating it this way. It's really delicious. Do give it a try. It goes so well with just some flatbread and goes even better with um, some sort of chutney on the side or it could be like any kind of like dried fish or anything that's kind of like tangy and spicy and um, fried basically so my gran would usually make it with some dried fish so she would just saute in some oil and some spices and this goes so well with it but I mean there's many ways to eat this it's really super healthy it's super quick and it's so delicious and plus it's super simple I hope you guys like the recipe do share like and subscribe your love is always appreciated thank you bye bye <laughs>